the following video contains excessive potato aim. Some viewers may find these scenes disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. I want to head back up. The team from the campus has taken position inside the memorial. That was easy.
Plum here, g'day champions, how's it going? And welcome back to another Division 2 build video. This one is a ripper of a PvE build. Smash through content super fast and easy with this build. You want damage? This build's got it. 85% amplified damage and we even get buffs that increase our total weapon damage on top of that for a further 70%. We're getting heaps of survivability on this build as well, and it suits an aggressive run and gun play style. We're getting heaps of survivability from this build as well, and it suits an aggressive run and gun in your face play style. Do you want to speed run league missions? Done. Do you want to fly through heroic content? Done. Do you want to be able to clear DZ landmarks fast? Done. Worried about pesky rogues trying to dogshot you and take your loot? Don't be. This build will put them in their place and send them back to the checkpoint. This build can easily be tweaked to get more survivability if needed. But I kind of like the feeling of being able to one tap an elite. This build and gun is so OP. Righto champs, before we get stuck in, welcome to all you beautiful creepy subscribers. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, pull your finger out and give that sub button a click. Also, make sure you hit the like button on this video because it does some weird sciencey shit in the background of the YouTube algorithm and actually helps the video pop up in searches. And in turn, that helps the channel grow. Let's keep it going, 10k subs, here we come. Any and all support is super appreciated. Righto champs, let's get stuck in and check out the build. Four reds, three blues, one yellow, and 1.3 million armor. It's a four piece Hunter's Fury, we've got one piece Seska and the Memento Backpack. Remember, if you don't have the Memento Backpack, it's not the end of the world. Talents like Adrenaline Rush or even Bloodsucker on the backpack would work great with this build. Specialization, you can go one of two ways. I've opted for Firewall because I want to get that damage buff and the increased shield health from running the Striker Shield. But occasionally for things like heroic missions and speed runs of the league, for the added armor on kill and the ammo restock, I go with Gunner. Everyone knows that I'm a huge fan of the Chatterbox and this is basically that build, but I've just changed it up and changed the primary weapon. This thing is an absolute beast. It's the named SASG Shoddy Tsunami. Now, I've got to admit, at first, I wasn't a fan of this gun. I did try it out back in TU9 and I was like, nah, it's not for me. Mainly because it's a shoddy and I've never really been good at them. But after using the Scorpio for a while, I kind of wanted to give it a try again. The Tsunami shotgun comes with the perfect pummel talent. Two consecutive kills refills your mag and grants plus 40% weapon damage for 10 seconds. These instant refills don't consume your ammo, and a further two kills will actually refresh that damage buff. So for PvE, this thing's a no-brainer, it's a beast. For the secondary, you can use anything. A high rate of fire SMG I do feel is the better option. You can get those stacks of obliterate really fast, get a couple of kills, proc your hunter's buffs, get your memento trophies, which will give you weapon damage and bonus armor, and then swap to the tsunami and start popping off rounds. For the pistol, you can use what you like. I don't normally switch to the pistol on these types of builds. Now let's check out the gear. We've got a hunter's fury mask. We've got the four piece bonus active, so we get the works. 15% shoddy and SMG damage, 20% armor on kill and 100% health on kill. And we also unlock Apex Predator. Hostiles within 15 meters of us get a debuff, which amplifies our weapon damage against them by 20%. Killing one of these ones will disorientate others nearby and amplifies our weapon damage again by another 5%, and this can stack five times. This buff too keeps refreshing kill after kill, getting up to 85% amplified damage. We've got it rolled with weapon damage and crit hit damage, and we've got a crit hit damage mod. For the chest, we've gone with a Seska chest piece for that 10% crit hit chance to bring up our crit hit chance using the shotgun. 
We've got it rolled with weapon damage, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and I've opted for a crit hit chance mod. And the talent is obliterate. Critical hits are gonna increase our total weapon damage by 1% for up to five seconds, and this can stack 25 times. Look champions, you can definitely rock intimidate on this build if you like, but I'm kind of overrunning that in PVP, so I've gone with obliterate, which is something I don't normally use. Also, if you had the crit hit chance rolls somewhere else on this build, you could definitely run something like a Grupo or even a Walker chess piece here. Hunter's Fury Holster, it's got max armor and 11.6 crit hit damage. Hunter's Knee Pads, it's got max weapon damage and 11.9 crit hit damage. Hunter's Fury Gloves, max armor and 11.7 crit hit damage. The backpack is the Memento. Like I mentioned before, if you don't have it, it's okay. Talents like Adrenaline Rush on this build would be completely fine, and if you're purely going for PvE farming like speedruns, Bloodsucker would work a treat too. But this exotic is so OP and will literally make any build in the game so much better by using it. You get one of each core attribute, I've opted for a crit hit chance mod, and we get the talent kill confirmed. Getting kills will drop trophies, you collect them to get short term and long term buffs. For the short term buffs we're going to get 5% weapon damage, 10% bonus armor and 5% skill efficiency per trophy. Once you collect 30 of them you're going to gain a 30% weapon damage buff, 30% skill efficiency and 3% armor regen for 300 seconds. See what I mean? This thing's crazy, if you don't have one go farm for it. For the skills, you can pretty much use anything, but as we're face tanking and we're using the firewall specialization for that damage buff, when using a shield, we're gonna be using a shield. If you don't wanna use a shield, you don't have to, and then you can swap to a different specialization like gunner instead. Our second skill, again, can be anything. I've opted for the assault drone. It takes NPC aggro, and with that 30% skill efficiency buffing its damage, it gets some crazy damage from just having one skill tier. Popping on over to the stat sheet, the Tsunami, we're at 47.3 crit hit chance and 116 crit hit damage. Could be better? Yeah, sure. But don't forget we're getting all that multiplicative amplified damage and all that additional damage too from the gear set, gear talents, and the weapon talent as well. We're also gonna get about 260k armor on kill and with 3% regen when we're at full memento stacks, that's about 40k regen per second. So that about covers all the bases on this build. There's still plenty of items that aren't at max rolls, so this build definitely has way more to give if you want to spend the time and optimize everything. What do you reckon? Are you going to be a champion and try this build out? What modifications would you make? Let me know down below. All the music on my channel is proudly brought to you by Artlist.io. They're not a paid sponsor, it's just a website that I'm a member of and their music is insanely good. It helps me and thousands of others create stunning videos with the best royalty free music and sound effects. Artlist.io And that's it for me on this one champs. Drop a comment below about whatever. Any feedback, build questions, suggestions or ideas, you know I'm easy. Help yourself and the channel, make sure that you've hit that bell notification so you know every time I upload new content. So, did you like it? Then smash that like button, and if you didn't, you can press the dislike. But remember, to support me and the channel, hit that sub button and become a creepy subscriber. And I'll catch you all in the next one, champions. I'm Plum, Plum out.